All right, so boy, do I have an eventful thing that's going down. So it's not really a new build, but it is the new build. And we have a 2009 Cadillac CTS. What was it like the A or what was it? The CTS 4. So, drive. so it was all wheel drive and with the 3.6. Um, I think there's like, what is it, like 70,000 on it? What? 70,000, 60,000 on it? <laughs> you wish it made it that far. She's got 45. 45,000 miles, 45,000 miles on it. Uh, the motor, like it needs a new timing chain and that's just a lot of work and race cars life. And you know what we're gonna do. Fucking LS. First LS swap on the channel. Hopefully a junkyard LS swap. If we can't find one, private buyer, but. Because yeah. Stupid. Yeah. He's messaged like four, five, probably even more than that, and like either they don't respond or they. Uh, they just sell the motor without. Yeah, they're it. like, yeah, sure, come get it, and then oh, sorry, it's gone. Five minutes later, so. But yeah, so what we're gonna do is uh, pull off the front bumper. I'm um, pretty much gonna start preparing. Hopefully, probably get like the radiator, take off all the other crap, just like start getting everything out so that way it's prepped to pull the motor. I don't think that's the thing that we might not do today, but the gist is to pretty much get the motor out with the transmission. We need to get, we're gonna use the stock differential in the back. We don't expect it to last very long. The diff might, but the axles won't. Yeah, so we're just gonna send it and see what breaks. Um, for the front end, I want him to get a, the subframe for the CTSV, but he doesn't want to spend $1,000. So what we're probably gonna end up doing is uh, pretty much make some axle stubs to hold the uh, hubs together in the front. And that should be about all we really need to do for the front subframe. Uh, because it isn't a CTSV uh, cradle, which we were hoping that the CTSV uh, motor mounts would work, but we would need the cradle to do that. Unfortunately, he bought some CTSV motor mounts and they didn't work, so yeah, that means we have to make right. some. Yeah, so it's a different subframe. So, yeah, go figure. That would have been too easy. Yeah, they're, the mounts are like here and here. The fuck? I know. So, uh, yeah, that's the gist. That's all I've really spewed here. Um, so he's thinking, uh, what is it, the four... A, either a 4.8 or a 5.3, whichever we can pretty much find. Um, if anybody and, has one, comment. Eh. Yeah, and if anybody wants a 3.6. Yeah, if anyone wants this motor, it literally advanced. runs like a top. And uh, I guess if you want to start Maybe it. Start it now. Uh, so it has, I don't, tell me how many miles it has too. Okay. Exactly. I think it was like 47. Yeah, so 47,000 miles. It runs has, like a top. Oh, it, it almost has 50. It's 49,733. 49,773. Could have said that wrong, but... You did. Go figure. Yeah, like a champ. Then we cut out the mufflers the other day. Like, in the back. Hear that. Hear that. That rumble. It sounds damn good, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, so that's coming out, and we're gonna put in either a 4853 uh, with a, do you have a, a turbo that you're planning to do? It's gonna be either anything that's S475 or a 480. So basically anything T6 flange, I guess is the, the gist. I think that's pretty much what we're gonna go for. Uh, he's gonna be running the Holly Terminator, uh, Terminator X. X, so. That should be cool. That should be super simple compared to the yeah. micro squared life. Harness and everything done. Yeah, done. Just plug it in and go. Um, he and one thing that we know is gonna suck is he wants AC, so that's gonna suck. But we'll figure it out. Uh, it should be able, we should be able to figure it out. But uh, yeah, overall that's the general plan. I've freaking rambled on enough here. Hopefully I covered everything. If you got questions, leave them down below. If you have suggestions, leave them below. 
If you want the motor, hit us up. It'll probably be like motor and trans, probably like 500 bucks. Yeah, motor and trans, 500 bucks. You come get it. Um, don't think we're going to dick around with shipping unless you want to pay for shipping. And That's a lot of money. We, yeah, I mean, if you want to pay for shipping, sure. But, yeah. All right, let's uh, commence on getting the front end tore down and pretty much get it prepped to pull the motor. Okay, so this has been already a surprise. So I don't think I disclosed that, but this was a salvage titled, salvage titled vehicle, if I could use my words today. Um, and it is showing. Holy crap. So first thing that we noted, or the first thing that was fucked, was uh, this was the headlight thing. Uh, it wasn't like this. But, so, if you look at the passenger side headlight, which is this one, um, where's the plug? If I can find the plug. Okay, plug's right here. So if you look at this plug, this is how it looks. Like, you look at the side and everything, that's how it looks. And if you look at the plug on this one, as you can tell, it's literally the exact same as that one. So what they did was literally deep in every single wire push it on and then they glued it in with some stuff so yeah that's that was the first thing we found and then uh the second thing is just like how bad this thing got hit so like we've got all this high quality patchwork it's almost like we fucking fixed it and then this guy is crumpled real good like i don't know if you have to have these inspected to freaking sell them or whatnot but wow I'd be, there's no way. I'd be so surprised if this actually hadn't been inspected. But, uh, yeah. So, then, like, all that's crumpled in there. So, the moral of the story is, we can't really feel too bad about doing this. Even though, if we were doing anything to a CTS-4, uh, we'd be adding value. But, uh, yeah. I'm surprised this thing hasn't had, like, alignment problems and shit. That goes straight. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. But, uh, yeah. So, first fender's off. Now I gotta get the other side off. Um, not messed up, hopefully. Yeah, and we well, I don't know, dude. I see some some crumpling here. I think it was in the front that it got hit. Yeah, it had to have been a front. If you actually look at like that front bumper too, it kind of looks like it's lifted higher on the driver's side. I know it didn't line up good. The bumper, the bumper didn't line up perfectly, so yeah, like the headlights were a little off. Yeah, I feel like it's tweaked this way. Oh, on that side. Then. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the kill, but. Yeah, well, hopefully that lower frame rail's not fucking bent. That would be not good. Yeah, because if you look at the, if you compare the front bumper to the uh, radiator mounts yeah. at the bottom. But yeah, so next thing's next. Get this fender off and do that. Oh, that's a good All right, so here it is. Drift car. And uh, if you look at this side, notice how it's flat. All right, just take that in. Yeah, not flat. So yeah, it's definitely jacked up. But I'm, it, I mean, it drove fine. He's had this thing for like, like six years, years? five years? years, five, four. Four, I think. I thought you had longer than that. Yeah. Right. Either way, he's had a long time. It hasn't given him any issues in that. Well, other than that, headlight gave him issues. And now we know why. And everything in the ECU now, but that's for sitting and all that. Yeah, he once he got the conquest, it sat. And yeah, but yeah. So now I guess we're gonna see where we feel like going from here. I'll probably take this guy off. That'll probably be the next feat. I wish this guy unbolted. Yeah, that's part of the car. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So I guess we'll try and get that thing off next and go from there. All right, so kind of just dicking around right now. Go for it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, having some fun. And it's dark outside. So some things have happened. So we disconnected some stuff and then we ended up going to get some food. And, like, when we came back from food, we were eating food, and Paul was on Facebook Marketplace, and let's just say he now has a transmission. So, for the Cadillac. So, we picked up, uh, 
I don't really know. It's a TH400 with, uh, what's that, the shifter that you have? Uh, I don't remember what it uh, called. The ratchet it. shifter. Yeah, it, but it has the stuff to do the ratcheting shifting. Um, and it, it's got hardened internals and some other goodies. Um, trans brake. Trans brake. So, I don't really know what the hell I'm talking about, so. Me either. I just bought transmission. Yeah. It was a good deal, so. And, uh, the guy we picked it up from, he, uh, hopefully he subscribes and maybe he can shed some light below. That man, I wish, like, I wish he was my friend. Because <laughs> the, he had a pretty dope-ass car there. Like, I don't remember what car it was. I don't remember what the actual car was, but this dude's a freaking metal fabricator, and he is the bee's knees at that shit. And he has, like, he pretty much bought a whole wrecked, um, it must have been a wrecked Viper, and he put, like, the whole interior into this older car, and he widened it, and it's, he's got the freaking uh, Viper V10 in there and shit. So it's pretty dope. But, yeah, maybe he'll comment or something, and maybe one day we can go up there and visit and see it when it's done. Yeah. So... Yeah, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is take this beauty out and uh, probably just set it in the back of the in the CTS uh, trunk. So, yeah, now we have a transmission. Now all we need to do is track down either a 4.8 or a 5.3. And, uh, yeah, for pretty cheap. We're thinking junk air is going to be the way to go, but we'll see. We permit, He's got to call around, see what yeah. we can find. The hard part is there's so many different versions. He needs to figure out which one he needs. But, uh, yeah, okay, let's put this in there. All right, well, this is pretty much what we got done before we left, and this is pretty much going to be it because that was a four-hour drive round trip. So, yeah, the only thing we got left to disconnect and this guy gets come out is trans lines. Otherwise, cooling and all that stuff is released. So, you dry so. It up pretty much, too. That's yeah. So... Yep, that's all we got for this one, guys. So you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Get excited for the Junkyard LS Swapped C Poor Man CTS-V. It's going to be great.